Thomas Jefferson was a prominent American statesman, philosopher, and writer who played a crucial role in the formation of the United States of America. He was born on April 13, 1743, in Albemarle County, Virginia, to Peter Jefferson and Jane Randolph. Jefferson's father was a surveyor and planter who had built a substantial estate in Virginia, while his mother belonged to one of the most prominent families in the state. As a young boy, Jefferson showed exceptional intellectual promise and was sent to study with a local Anglican minister. He later attended the College of William and Mary in Virginia, where he studied law and was introduced to the Enlightenment philosophy that would shape his political views. After completing his education, Jefferson began practicing law in Virginia and quickly established himself as a skilled attorney. In 1769, he was elected to the Virginia House of Burgesses, where he became an outspoken critic of British rule and a champion of American independence. During the early years of the American Revolution, Jefferson served in the Continental Congress, where he played a key role in drafting the Declaration of Independence. The document, which he wrote with input from fellow founding fathers like John Adams and Benjamin Franklin, is considered one of the most significant documents in American history. In 1779, Jefferson was elected governor of Virginia, a position he held for two years. During his time in office, he worked tirelessly to strengthen the state's military and economic resources, and he advocated for a range of progressive policies, including religious freedom and public education. After leaving office, Jefferson returned to his estate at Monticello, where he focused on his personal interests, including architecture, gardening, and science. He also became an advocate for the abolition of slavery, although he struggled to reconcile his personal beliefs with the economic realities of his plantation. In 1784, Jefferson was appointed as a diplomat to France, where he worked to strengthen the United States' ties with European powers and promote American interests abroad. While in France, he also became an enthusiastic student of French culture and philosophy, which would continue to influence his thinking for the rest of his life. In 1790, Jefferson was appointed as the first Secretary of State under President George Washington. During his tenure, he played a key role in shaping American foreign policy, including negotiating the Louisiana Purchase from France in 1803. In 1801, Jefferson was elected as the third President of the United States, defeating incumbent John Adams in a bitterly contested election. As President, he focused on expanding American territory and promoting economic growth, while also advocating for limited government and individual rights. During his two terms in office, Jefferson accomplished a great deal, including the establishment of the Library of Congress, the creation of the U.S. Military Academy at West Point, and the Lewis and Clark Expedition, which explored the newly acquired Louisiana Territory. Jefferson's presidency was not without controversy, however, and he faced criticism for his handling of foreign affairs, as well as his decision to impose an embargo on American trade with Europe in 1807. Despite these challenges, Jefferson remained a beloved figure to many Americans, who admired his intellect, his commitment to individual rights, and his vision for a more democratic and egalitarian society. After leaving office in 1809, Jefferson returned to Monticello, where he spent the remaining years of his life writing, corresponding with other intellectuals, and advocating for his political beliefs. He passed away on July 4, 1826, exactly 50 years after the signing of the Declaration of Independence, leaving behind a legacy as one of America's greatest statesmen and thinkers. Today, Jefferson's contributions to American political and cultural life are still celebrated and studied. His writings, including the Declaration of Independence and his extensive correspondence, continue to inspire generations. Jefferson's vision for an American society based on freedom, equality, and democratic values has continued to inspire generations of Americans and people around the world. His belief in the power of education, his advocacy for religious freedom, and his commitment to individual rights have shaped the course of American history and continue to inform debates about the role of government in society. Despite his flaws and contradictions, Thomas Jefferson remains a towering figure in American history, a symbol of the country's founding ideals and a testament to the power of ideas to shape the world. 
His legacy continues to inspire and challenge us, reminding us of the enduring importance of liberty, democracy, and human rights. Thomas Jefferson was a prolific writer and thinker, and his ideas and words continue to resonate today. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their Creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness. This iconic line from the Declaration of Independence is perhaps Jefferson's most famous quote. It encapsulates his belief in the natural rights of individuals and the idea that governments exist to protect those rights. I cannot live without books. Jefferson was an avid reader and collector of books, and he believed that education was essential to the success of a democratic society. This quote reflects his deep appreciation for the power of ideas and his belief in the importance of lifelong learning. The tree of liberty must be refreshed from time to time with the blood of patriots and tyrants. This quote, often cited as a call to revolution, reflects Jefferson's belief that the struggle for freedom and democracy requires sacrifice and commitment. It also speaks to his suspicion of concentrated power and his belief in the importance of checks and balances. I have sworn upon the altar of God eternal hostility against every form of tyranny over the mind of man. This quote, taken from a letter to Benjamin Rush, expresses Jefferson's commitment to the freedom of thought and conscience. It reflects his belief that individuals should be free to explore and express their ideas without fear of persecution or coercion. In matters of style, swim with the current, in matters of principle, stand like a rock. This quote speaks to Jefferson's pragmatism and his willingness to adapt to changing circumstances. At the same time, it also reflects his unwavering commitment to his core values and principles. It's a reminder that, while it may be necessary to compromise on some issues, there are some principles that are worth fighting for. We appreciate your support in watching our videos. If you enjoy learning about political, business, writer and science leaders biographies and quotes, please consider subscribing to our channel and giving us a thumbs up to help us grow and continue bringing you valuable content.